What I hate to see is my community torn apart like this. The director just resigned. Do you feel that you've given in? That you've been defeated here? That Part of me does, yes. But they start showing up at your house. Guns on their hips and Bible tracts in their hands. Activists demanding that the library ban more than 400 books, like <laughs> genderqueer. Even if we do nothing to you, eventually, if you don't repent, of wanting to harm our children with pornography, that's up to God. Things need to change. Otherwise, you bring curses upon yourselves, period. From the most high. Are any of those books in the library? Not a single one. Not a single one. You're bringing a curse upon yourself. If you have these books that aren't in the library, in this library. So I'm here exhausting my energy for no damn reason. A library up in Bonners Ferry, Idaho, as you saw, her name is Kimber Glidden there, had to quit after she was receiving threats. People showing up at her house, as she mentioned it with guns, all because of books that don't exist in the library because people have nothing else to do. Um, some of those people that are up in Idaho, in this small town, Idaho, um, Weren't really there before, but they're looking for a place to build their cult. A CNN had more about the origins of some of these crazed people. There is a group of individuals that are moving into the area who are, they have the intent of turning this into what they call the American Redoubt. Coined back in 2011 by a Christian survivalist, the American Redoubt, a refuge for self-described, God-fearing, liberty-loving patriots. This store opened recently, owned by a pastor who moved up from California. Here's how he described it back in 2015. If we will put him first, Blessed will be the readout. By God's grace, we trust that the readout, we won't see the homosexuality and rampant lesbianism that we see in California. There are now so many wannabe redoubters, some realtors cater to them. One has this ad on its website. In the days of old, the men would lead, women would nurture. The Aryan nations, for a long time they were headquartered in this part of Idaho. They had a similar plan, but for a whites only homeland. City councilwoman Val Thompson's family has been here five generations. One of my friends had somebody tell him the other day that the American readout is here and it might be time for you to exit. It might be time for you to exit. The, Ameri the American readout is here. Again, as you saw the basis for that uh, is completely unsurprising that it's based in white supremacy and trying to go and nestle their heads into these small communities and push people out. I thought it was if you don't like it here that you should leave, <laughs> not you should come in and push other folks out that have been there. Anyway, the battle is going on and on and on, but specifically with this one teacher, this one, sorry, this one librarian that was run out. Let's get the details of how bad it really got for her. So the fervor has become so heated that the library's director, as we point out, is quitting after only nine months. She talked about a barrage of harassment that she said made it impossible for her to do her job. She's a former bank manager and she's turned into a librarian now. And she said the stress became so bad that she, she developed a tick that makes her thumb quiver uncontrollably. In Glidden's August 16th resignation announcement on Facebook, she stated that nothing in my background could have prepared me for the political atmosphere of extremism. Militant Christian fundamentalism, intimidation tactics, and threatening behavior currently being employed in the community. And what finally pushed her to resign was the group's inability to listen to her answers and their opposition to rejoining the American Library Association earlier this year. It wasn't a final straw so much as it was a constant barrage of the same rhetoric and people not listening to my answers is what she said. They don't want to hear the truth. Here's what you also mentioned there, Francesca. Glidden said that uh, people have falsely accused her of grooming children for pedophiles. Yeah. And her staff has stated, uh, started dining and shopping in neighboring, neighboring counties to avoid conflicts. Critics of the library have called the censorship conflict a spiritual battle for the hearts and minds of our children. <sighs> On Facebook, read the rest of that. It's Facebook. <laughs> like, I mean, this yeah. is, the, the, these are people who do their research and live off of Facebook memes. It is so scary. And then they're led by people like Ted Cruz in elected office. This is what happens on the ground when you have a far right Christian nationalist movement in power. You have librarians being targeted for what? Teaching about reading? I mean, it is. 
the anti-intellectualism of like Christian fundamentalist nationalism is so scary to me. And yeah, man, Idaho is ground zero for that. They're all moving there. It's I w- seems weird that it's Idaho. <laughs> I don't know why Idaho has to be the place. But then once you get there, it's like we have this librarian that I want to point out for the third time. Those books are not in the library. But the thing that they're upset about is that this library could get books in the library if community members ask for them. Because there's this weird thing about libraries in a community. Um, they or education them. generally. <laughs> So weird, but you know what? It's actually not even that weird. Again, it's based in the supremacy. That's why I want to point out that white supremacist background for this whole group. The supremacy of thinking that you're this Christian who can tell other folks what to do is in that same vein. That's why people that a lot of times follow these types of, of, of groups will be like, I'm a Christian, I'm a patriot, and I'm American. They think those three things mean I'm a white person who's religious and God says I'm superior to you and everything that I say and believe is what you should say and believe. It's extremism, and if you don't agree with me, I get to threaten to kill you. Like Jesus said, it almost like it doesn't. It's almost like it doesn't match up, or like you weren't thinking this whole thing through. 